Well, there were so many different highlights, but if I had to pick one that was most impactful, or like the biggest takeaway, is the difference between feelings and needs and not confusing them. So clarifying, these are my feelings and there's a need that's underneath that. And knowing that it's okay to ask, it's okay to acknowledge the feelings and then making requests or asking or clarifying what is your needs or my needs, I feel that I'm much more balanced. So I've come away feeling emotionally more balanced for myself. And when it's with other people, and especially with my children, who are all 15 and under, three of them, there seems to be more emotional blending. And in the sense that um, they're not necessarily expressing their feelings as I'm angry, I'm cross, because they just come back from school and they're grumpy and you know they have a meltdown and it's it's okay they can they're expressing their feelings very physically different ways and it's for me to hmm all right let's let's just get back into myself first and see where i am and uh, acknowledge that they're having a meltdown or they just want time on their own and either ask them directly or infer from past experience what their needs are and and double checking as best as i can with them uh, what their needs are and then we can work together to see whether whether I can support them in actually fulfilling those needs that they need at that moment and so that's that's the biggest highlight for me it works for other adults as well but because I chose this with uh, I came here with the intention primarily to be a better and a much more effective communicator a better parent for for my children so that's that's why I'm focusing a lot on my communication and my highlight with regards to the children.